Hey, Ricky Racers, this is Chris G from RedCatRacing.com. I'm going to go over the binding process for the new RCR2CE RedCat Racing Remote and the R3 receiver. It's going to come in our Landslide, Shredder, Gen 7, and any future models. Uh, I've taken the liberty of taking the cover off the remote so we can see a little better. The remote itself is going to have similar features to the RCR2C. Um, same dials, reverse switches, and whatnot. The bind process in itself is just a little bit different. Um, first, uh, you want to make sure that your your vehicle's off, your controller's off, and you're going to put the bind plug in the in the receiver's bind port. On the R3 model receiver, the bind port is actually going to be the channel four. Um, the original receivers, the 28479s that come in the majority of our models right now, the bind plug is put into channel three, but in this one it's going to be in the top one in the VCC channel four. So it's going to be this channel four location. So you'll take and you'll put your bind plug in the top channel here. So it'll be in the channel four location. And you turn on the vehicle and it's going to do the same blink. This will tell you that the receiver itself is in the bind mode. So now you simply push the bind button underneath the lid on the remote, turn the remote on, and the remote screen light is going to blink steadily. On the R3 receiver, the light is not going to go solid, it's going to blink really slow. And this basically lets you know that it's connected. Um, once that's done, you can pull the bind plug, turn off the car, you can take and turn off the remote, turn the remote back on, turn the car back on, and you'll notice that the receiver's light is now solid. Once that's done, you can steer and you'll have throttle and you'll be all bound and good to go. Any questions, feel free to ask. And if you'd like to see any other how-to videos, please uh, let us know what you'd like to see. And thanks for racing Red Cat.